Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Fate Grand Order Babylonia Episode 9. <clears throat> so, last episode <clears throat> did not go too well for everybody. Um, we lost two of our servants, Ushiwakamaru and Leonidas, uh, fighting Gorgon, who... Everybody else thought it was Tiamat for a while until Leonidas pointed out. Yeah, I've never heard of Tiamat having mystic eyes. And you turn people to stone. Plus, you know, Zeus. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not, you're not Tiamat. <laughs> um, really awesome fights last week, too. Despite the fact that we lost those two the fights for the episode were amazing um <clears throat> mainly um Ushiwakamaru but Leonidas did his thing and was pretty awesome as well um but ultimately they couldn't stop her um they used both of them used their noble phantasms and really didn't even do much uh, Leonidas did put a hole through her stomach, a huge one, but that pretty much healed quickly. Ushiwakamaru, she used hers, and it didn't really do much of anything, caused a huge explosion, but no real damage. See, she's using the Holy Grail, but according to her, she wasn't using any of its power, so... I don't know. Guess she just heals quickly. Um, and she was getting ready to attack Uruk, but uh, Enkidu, or Kingu, I can now officially call him since they said it last week. And I was just wondering why they haven't been calling him that. <laughs> I thought they said his name earlier. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, he convinced her not to attack Uruk, saying that once the city falls by a goddess's hands, then the alliance between the other two goddesses is over. And then they can go and do whatever they want, meaning they can come and attack her and try to take her out. It wouldn't be good, basically. So he convinced her to wait a while. Wait until the second wave of demonic beasts that they're creating is ready. Um... Which she says is going to be, well, she said 10 dawns, so basically 10 days, uh, until everything is set into motion. So, yeah. Ben K just left afterwards. Um, called himself a coward, because all he could do was watch while Ushiwakamaru and Leonidas did what they were doing. So he just went off to the city with the soldiers, and they tried telling him, you know, look, you saved those soldiers so I mean we need your power <laughs> um but no there was no convincing him he decided it was best for him if he just went off into the wilds and died fighting demonic beasts so that's what he's doing he's off wandering in the forests um and right now everybody is pretty much down because well I mean like I said they lost two servants Really powerful servants, too. But, um, Fujimaru, he, uh, got everybody back on track by repeating something that Leonidas had said about putting bricks t together, about how it's something small, but it's something anybody could do, and they just need to keep going and that got the soldiers back back on track so yeah oh uh we did see that ushiwakamaru did not die during her battle with gorgon they actually have her captured and in their castle um we also see that kingu doesn't have like malicious intent towards all humans as he allowed I think four children to escape 
actually showing them the way out. Uh, basically, he says he doesn't hold any grudges against humans. He's just there to take care of any threats towards his mother. Um, so, yeah. He goes over to Ushiwakamaru, who's awake inside this castle, and starts pretty much explaining. I mean, she pretty much guessed it, but explaining that it's basically like a factory inside the castle. All of the uh, humans that get taken, their flesh and everything get used to create new demonic beasts. Um, I forget how much he said each piece creates, but... I think it was like three for a piece of, like a few pieces of flesh or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, either way, because she was kind of running her mouth, <laughs> and he didn't like that, he cut her down from the uh, the wall that she was stuck to. Uh, well, oh, well, he did actually stick his hand in her side. And kind of dig around a bit and that... <laughs> just thinking about it. But, um... As she's on the ground... Well, he kicks her and then steps on the wound he created. And then says that he's going to throw her into... Um... Basically... The mud that is near... Uh... Gorgon? It's like the mud of the Holy Grail, I think is what they call it. Or something like that. But basically, anybody who's thrown inside gets turned into some kind of monster or demonic beast kind of creature. Um, like, as they are. Like, they do not change. They just become something else. Um, <clears throat> so he's going to do that to her. Ugh. Just no luck for Ushiwakamaru. No head pads. <laughs> um, man. Anyway. I kind of got an idea of what might happen in this episode. But we'll see. Let's get into it. All right, so the video is going to be located over here. And the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. Volume is good. Okay. And we're going to start this episode in three, two, one. 